Well, one of the restaurants trying to make some hires was Arugas here in Harrisburg. They recently did make some hires, but they had also posted a sign in the window that says they were short staffed and to please be kind to their staff. It reflects an industry wide problem that many businesses are trying to overcome. Keep it open, George. JB Love Drafts is ready for when capacity limits go away. Very, very happy to see everyone starting to come back again. A lot of our old regulars are coming back. The micro pub recently shored up its staff, but they're still looking for help. Opening up uh, our brewery on the West Shore, some staff is going to be going back and forth between that. So we're trying to find other staff to come over here. We're not sure with uh, how the shortage is going on, if uh, it's going to be more difficult for us to staff up. The Pennsylvania Restaurant and Lodging Association says many businesses may not be able to operate at 100% on May 31st. I've talked to some hotel owners and hotel managers who are blocking off uh, big chunks of rooms, you know, 30, 40, 50 rooms, uh, just because they don't have the staff to get those rooms ready. So what's contributing to the staffing shortage? Valencia says that it's a combination of things, including unemployment benefits, the extensions that we've seen from the federal government, as well as a lack of child care options for many people who simply need to make sure their kids are able to be at home but have some kind of supervision or can go to a daycare. He also said that many people have said that they just want to get out of the industry. They want to find something more stable. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.